One day in third grade, yours truly was performing in the play Alice in Wonderland. No, I'm not bragging, and no, I wasn't Alice. I was Humpty Dumpty, you know, the egghead, the guy that fell off the wall and was really pissed off when he found out that he didn't have workers' comp. Anyway, it was opening night and the auditorium was packed. I could see my mom and dad as I looked out from the wings of the stage. I have to tell you folks, that's a lot of pressure for a third grader. And the time for my scene came in the blink of an eye. And there I was, sitting on a wall in my A costume. Everything was going fine until my line. I'm one who has spoken to a king, I am. Well, I guess I said it with a little too much enthusiasm because I lost my balance and I fell over on the back side of the wall. And all the audience could hear was a giant dud. Now, I, I didn't get hurt, not physically anyway, but I remember how humiliated I felt waiting behind that wall for the audience to realize that falling wasn't part of the act just yet. And all I can think of was that I messed up big time. I ruined the play. I was going to be the entire laughing stock of the entire school. And how I wondered, was I ever going to face my parents? I wanted to run off the stage and hide, but I, I couldn't, I, I was frozen by fear. Crouching behind the wall, an egg with egg on his face. And as all of these negative thoughts are running through my mind, the teacher's running up the step and she screams out, Stephen, are you okay? And without missing a beat, I yelled out as loud as I could. Yeah, yeah, I'm all right, but I, uh, I think I cracked my shell. I hope Alice doesn't mind scrambled eggs. To my young surprise, the entire audience exploded with laughter. Now hearing the laughter, I slowly stuck my head above the wall to check out what was going on. And as soon as the audience saw my big egg head, the laughter turned into cheers and everyone, and I mean everyone in that auditorium, including the cast, was standing and chanting, Humpty, Humpty. Now because scrambled eggs just aren't as good without a little ham, I jumped up on top of the wall and I proceeded to take many exaggerated bows. The teacher was begging me to please sit down before I fell off the wall again, but I couldn't help myself. I was totally blown away by the reaction and the attention I was getting. Eventually, I sat down, the play continued, and what a huge success it was. That night, in third grade, my humor being came to the rescue. Just by blurting out the first obvious joke that came to my mind, I went from a clutch to a hero. An emotional transformation took place. I went from the most humiliating experience in my young life to becoming the star of the show. Hey, I'm not exaggerating when I say star. When the play was over, I was actually signing autographs. Here's the takeaway. Sometimes in life, all you need is a couple of seconds to catch your second wind. Laughter, your humor being, gives you that couple of seconds over and over again. Now that's power. And that's the word, according to Bob.